Okay, so this is a bit of a different New Year's get ready. I was meant to do like a New Year's Eve one, but honestly I ended up having the most boring, depressing New Year's Eve of my life. I've been like poorly the last few days and then I got my booster COVID job. And it just like topped everything off and I was literally so ill, so poorly. I didn't end up going out, I just ended up staying in and I was literally asleep by like half past nine. But um, I do feel better today and I'm going to my auntie's for my dinner. So I thought I would do like a little get ready, talk over some of my 2022 goals. It sounds so weird to say and like reflect on 2021. I need to start putting some makeup on ASAP though because I look dead, very pale not a vibe. I have loads of new um, makeup actually. I've put them all in like this Charlotte Tilbury bag, they're not all from Charlotte Tilbury. I've got quite a few different stuff. I wish like makeup hauls, beauty hauls were still a thing because I have so much in here that I could show you but I feel like they're just not. There is loads and I'm still waiting for the majority of it to come so there's going to be even more but I thought I would like stock up for the new year. I've already got the flawless filter on and I'm literally obsessed done my brows and just put um some flawless filter on and i'm just gonna you know continue with my makeup whilst we talk like i said about um 2021 do a little bit of reflecting and talk about goals stuff like that for 2022 if you watch my get ready with me last new year's and you've seen that i write down all of my like goals resolutions stuff like that and like my reflection i wrote them down in here to like read off of for this video but i also write them down in like my manifestation journal and stuff like that which I did like kind of touch on in my last video I think that would have been but to start off with like a little 2021 recap I don't really know how I feel about I was gonna say this year but like last year technically um I don't really know how I feel about it because it wasn't really like my favorite year ever but also I don't think it was my worst but yeah I think I would say it was kind of like very middle ground for me in terms of like goals and stuff um I achieved quite a lot most of the things that I like said that I wanted to achieve this year but in terms of everything else I'll say yeah it was very like middle ground I don't know I feel like we've just like been going through it for like the past two years I'm just over it I said this in my last one like I'm sick of being in a pandemic but there's literally nothing I can do about it and I hate that so in terms of um 2021 goals that I had like I said I would say that I met most of them or if not met them like I have been working towards them and I can continue working on them next year I keep saying it this year the first one that I had was um to like travel more and complete all of the events that I had booked I think is how I worded it so my plan was that I wanted to travel to at least three new cities and do at least two out of the country abroad trips but unfortunately Miss Coronavirus made that very very difficult. I did do more trips and stuff like that than 2020 um, which I mean wouldn't be hard like I went to a few different places I went to where did I go this is where my memory like fails me like in general I went to like Manchester, Lincoln, London, Liverpool, London again um is it Bista? I was yeah I think it's Bista like Bista Village went there and never been there before so I did quite a few different trips weekend type thing you know didn't unfortunately get to go abroad but fingers crossed I may be going in like two weeks we'll see about that one though so that one unfortunately didn't get achieved but that was like through no fault of my own like literally couldn't do it you know what I mean but hopefully that'll be something that we can like work on and achieve complete in 2020. The next one was that I wanted to buy a car which I did do I ended up getting my first car which I was obviously really pleased about and really happy about. The next one that I had down was to minimize fast fashion consumption which again I think I definitely did but not as much as I would have liked. I definitely didn't spend as much money on fast fashion in terms of like um ordering off pretty little thing and things like that um definitely didn't spend as much money um i should probably specify definitely didn't spend as much money on those websites because lord knows i still spent a ridiculous amount of money this year but yeah i definitely didn't spend as much money on fast fashion or like consume as much fast fashion in general i didn't buy as much i wouldn't say 
didn't buy as much um like clothes in general i did still spend like i said a lot of money but they were more like investment pieces like i bought myself like two designer bags this year and stuff like that so they were more like investment pieces and then another one was that i wanted to read more which i definitely did read more than the year before but i still didn't read as much as i would have liked to which is a little bit annoying but then it also just means that i can just build on it for this year i keep wanting to really say next year but you know what i mean so i can build on it for 2022 and like the last one that i'll mention was date more and anyways so like a little 2021 roundup um i finished uni i got myself my first car i got myself my first like proper big girls job full-time job so i mean we did have some successes i got like my first paid partnerships collabs and stuff like that like social media wise i worked with loads of different brands like brands i could not even like comprehend me working with like i started off the year working with like savage x20 and then i've worked with like motel rocks princess polly boohoo like what so i've honestly worked with so many unreal brands that i never would have even thought of so i'm like just really proud and thankful for that so going on to like my 2022 goals resolutions whatever you want to call them um i have quite a few but one of my main things for this year was to kind of like be a bit not easier on myself but not put as much pressure on myself to like compete with this completely unrealistic standard that i have like made for myself in my head i will openly admit that i can be a little bit of a control freak and it kind of like stops me from appreciating things that are going on at the moment because i'm always thinking about like okay but i could be doing this but next time i want to be doing this like do you know what i mean i hope that makes sense so i kind of want to like just chill a little bit like I have never been relaxed so I would just like to take a few steps back be able to like enjoy things at the present time like be more oh, it sounds so cringe but like be more in the moment instead of like constantly focusing on the next thing that's gonna happen so like having said that I do have obviously some goals for this year but they're kind of more like general goals that contribute towards my like overall well-being and growth i would say but they're not like really really specific like pinpointed massive huge things because i think they can be quite unrealistic and also um i do like journal a lot and plan and stuff each month each week whatever so these are like general goals for the year but then i can make more specific goals each month or each week if i need to but yeah so um a lot of them are just building on from ones that i had last year that either were successful that I just want to keep continuing with or that I didn't quite get there and I want to like just build on them so the first one is the travel one so I have basically just repeated from last year again I've said three new cities like in England the UK and then hopefully two abroad trips like I said I am supposed to be going on holiday in like literally just over two weeks not sure how that will go with like all new restrictions and stuff but if that one goes ahead then i'm halfway there already and then i also want to like build on my minimizing fast fashion again so i want to like again obviously buy even less fast fashion than i did last year and just overall become more like mindful and ethical with things that i buy kind of try to look for more like sustainable options of things that i already have or things that i'm looking to get or to use and yeah like i said just become more overall in general sustainable and ethical then i have a few like numbered goals that i'm not going to be like specific about but obviously i have like career and content creating goals numbers wise that i'm not gonna like say because i think they can be very well they literally are very personal and very like specific to each person but obviously i have those kind of goals as well um, that are in my little manifestation journal like numbers that i want to reach um certain brands that i want to work with you know things like that and similar i also have like a certain amount of savings that i want to have by the end of the year so again not really going to say that because they are kind of like specific to each person so again the next one i have is kind of um leading on building on whatever you want to say from 
last year and that is just to read more. I want to try and read at least one book a month which I feel like doesn't sound that hard but I go through phases with my reading like I am a very big reader like an avid reader but then I feel like I go through I'll read like three books in the space of like two weeks and then I won't read for like two months so I want to just get into more of like a routine a pattern with that but my overall goal is like 22 to 25 books for the year which I think is like fine I think that's attainable um I didn't read as much as I wanted to this year at all at the beginning of the year I bought so many books and like my to read list was huge literally ginormous and then I got a full-time job and was literally too tired all the time and literally just went to work came home sleeped so I feel like I need to like work out when is best for me what time makes me feel best to read and like allocate time to that i also kind of goes hand in hand with that when i want to spend less time on like social media or um my phone and stuff like that in general like less screen time more book time slightly off topic but kind of related i had like a digital detox last night um like i said i didn't end up going out because i didn't feel very well at all which you can probably tell from my voice like i sound so croaky and gross like i have to keep stopping talking to cough every like 30 seconds not covid though i've done numerous tests because i'm so paranoid but yeah so i had like a digital detox last night i went through all of my like camera roll and deleted i'd literally deleted 5,000 pictures like what so i'm hoping that spending less time on my phone will go hand in hand with reading more and then one of the last ones that i have is to I put on my list to become a gym girl but I mean overall I just want to become more like health conscious and have like a healthier active lifestyle. I'm going to be honest and say that I don't know if that will specifically include me becoming a gym girl because the gym quite literally terrifies me like um no it just like increases my anxiety so much like the thought of me going to the gym. I think I'd be fine once I actually got into it because I do like a routine so I think if I started going a lot I would like fall into that routine and really enjoy it but it's just actually getting there because all of the gym boys scare the life out of me but yeah coming back off that little tangent um I just want to become more like health conscious like I said and like kind of lead a more healthy active lifestyle but I wrote a few like bullet points the way that I've done my goals is um in my journal I write like the goal then I write why I'm doing it, the feeling that I'll have once I accomplish it, and then how I'm going to achieve it. So I've seen Moya do it that way and I actually really like it because it makes your goals seem more like achievable because you're like breaking it down a little bit rather than just being like, be a gym girl. So the way that I wrote down this one was in like sections. So like I said, I want to get back on my like full vegan grind thing because I feel like I kind of slacked with it a little bit and just got lazy and started eating like shit basically and i just want to get back to how i was like towards the beginning of last year when i was like actually putting more effort into my meals and being more like conscious of what i was eating not in terms of like dieting or anything like that because fuck that i really couldn't care but i mean more like intuitive eating and like listening to my body and what my body wants and like i said just being more like health conscious not constantly going for the easy option because i'm feeling lazy like put a bit more effort in and I feel like my body will thank me for it. So then I did also put like going to the gym or just in general doing more exercise, like workout classes, things like that. Because honestly, I don't exercise at all. Um, apart from walking up and down the stairs, don't do any of it. And I feel like I really should because I think it would just make me feel a bit better about myself in general. Even if it's not like to reach any like body or dieting goals, I feel like just moving my body will make me just feel a bit happier, you know, release those endorphins, all that shit. I just want to basically become a Trader Joe's yoga Pilates mum. I want to live my best Paige Sikorsky, Whole Foods, health conscious, active lifestyle. I've been scratching my neck by the way, so ignore that. Okay, and then the last one that I'll share is just to continue making and creating content that I am proud of and that I like and that I enjoy. So by that I just mean like don't put pressure on myself to get all these videos out and like even like with Instagram and stuff like to post this and post that. If I don't like it, I'm not doing it. If I don't like it, it's not getting posted. And like with that as well, I just want to be a bit more selective with like brands that I work with. 
I would never work with a brand that I didn't like but I mean like just kind of think how does this like align with my brand with my like morals ethics etc is it gonna like benefit my life and my content creating if not don't do it and like just have more fun with it like I have really this year been in like my tiktok bag like I've loved making tiktoks because I think it's fun it doesn't have as much pressure on myself because I just think if you're not having fun with it then what's the point you may as well not do it I feel like I just need a little bit of a rebrand in the new year you may have already noticed that I have a new intro and outro for this video I feel like last year I kind of realized my editing style like what videos I like to create so I feel like this year I really want to work on like refining that and kind of pushing it to the next level and getting it as like good as I want it really and that is really just like my overall theme for this year as well just like refining my skills growing spiritually mentally physically all of that and just like truly excelling and thriving so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed listening to me rant basically um please do let me know any of your new year's goals resolutions or just like what things you want to achieve this year Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I am really excited about the upcoming videos I have planned for, well, literally obviously like in the near future and also just for the whole of next year. So if you have been watching my videos last year, thank you so much. If you are new and have just started watching them, thank you also. And yeah, I hope you will keep watching them through 2022.